My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 23rd April, we celebrate the feast of Saint Adalbert. Adalbert was born in East Bohemia into a Slavnik family. At a very young age, he received good education and he was a very devout and pious man. Adalbert studied theology and he also took the name Adalbert at the time of his confirmation. He had great talents within himself from a young age, a great scholar and a great man of reform. He was a man of great piety and capabilities. He was chosen to become the Bishop of Prague and it was the first time that a person of Czech nationality occupied the illustrious sea. He tried to proclaim Christ in the region of Hungary and Bohemia. When he became the Bishop of Prague, he tried to bring reform and to suppress all the pagan practices that were happening during that time. He wanted to eliminate many pagan practices that were prevalent during that time. And while doing reform, he faced the opposition from the king. When he had the conflict with the king, the king said certain pagan practices and customs had to remain. But Adelbert was firm in his conviction that he would not allow any pagan practices. And that is why he left his see in the year 982 and went on to become a monk in the Benedictine monastery. He was persuaded to go back to Prague and assume as a bishop. He went back to Prague and assumed his role as a bishop but very soon again there was some conflict and he had to leave his episcopal duties. He wrote a letter stating that he wants to be released of his episcopal duties and as a bishop and then he went on to do missionary activity in the Baltic coast and he was a great missionary tried to bring Christ to the people in the Baltic coast. He proclaimed Christ to the people and he also died a martyr's death in the year 997. He is known for his preaching among the Slavs. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the feast of Saint Adelbert, let us pray through his intercession that we too become generous and fearless in the pursuit of holiness.